Hey, hola, my friends. Welcome to our meditation gardens and our solar-powered aquaponics and hydroponic gardens. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Ours is gorgeous in the southwest United States. If you get a chance, get out there and get the gardening today. It's going to be an absolutely beautiful day. Um, you know, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about gardening and art because we are all artists in one way or another. I believe so. And what we tend to do in my family is we envision and we'll even draw on a piece of paper what we would like the overall flowing scope of the garden to be, as in what colors we'd like popping, what heights and, you know, sizes and widths we'd like here and there. And you end up with a pretty decent idea or representation of what your dream was, your dream garden would be. Cantaloupes are just spreading. If you guys get a chance, go and look at our videos from the past and you'll see how much these things have actually grown over the last couple of weeks. These are our delicata squash. Ooh, raw leaves. Look at these guys right there. Of course, we remember our chard, our kale, and our green onions. Now, this newest piece we've been working on is based on the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. And uh, my neighbor, who's super awesome, they're growing grapes. So I was like, we have grapevines um, available to us. And thank, I thank them a lot for um, supplying us. But I wanted to see if I could do that with tomato vines. So here's my interpretation of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, and it's with cherry tomato plants. Now, every single plant you see here, every single one is a clone from the tomato plant that we were growing two years ago. And I really want to point that out because th none of these are from a new tomato seed. None of them. None of the cherry tomato plants are from a new cherry, um, cherry tomato seed. All from clones or suckers, as other people like, as um, we also like to call them. I especially like this one here because um, I keep good measurements and charts on my um, fruits. And if you see this bundle right here, this batch right here, this is actually 11 tomatoes on this one little branch right here. I love doing this. Um, it's not that I just enjoy um, watching the stuff grow. It's not that I just enjoy eating it, which I incredibly enjoy both of those things. It's just knowing how nature works and knowing that I can play a part in it, that we all can play a part in it with making minimum impact out of it and gaining maximum pleasure. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's what life is all about. So let's think about that. In the meantime, have a great weekend and plant that first seed. And together we grow. Peace and blessings, my friends.